Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. This love reading will be all about the person that you are thinking about or connecting with. What do we need to know about their energies um, towards you, what they're thinking, feeling about you, what's in their heart space, and what they wish they could tell you, what message do they have for you? All right, for Leo, Spirit Angels Guides. What does Leo need to know? Oh, I have a after card there. What does Leo need to know, Spirit, about this person they are thinking about or connecting with? What is this person thinking, feeling, when it comes to Leo? What are they thinking, feeling? What's their overall energy when it comes to Leo? What's their overall energy when it comes to Leo? Wow, the Page of Cups. So sweet. Page of Cups kind of wears their heart on this on their sleeve. Very tender, sweet. They're, you know, it's, this is definitely somebody that's developing feelings for you, strong feelings for you. Um, the Page of Cups could also be an apology. What is this person's overall energy when it comes to Leo? What's this person's overall energy? Wow, the lovers. Gemini energy there. Great. Okay, so this person, um, not only do they develop feelings for you, but I think they also recognize that this could be a deeper connection. Perhaps a soulmate connection or just a connection that is just very strong. Um, you see eye to eye. There's something about this other person that just, I don't know, they're different. Wow, the Nine of Cups. What is going on, Leo? I feel like I should end this reading here so that I don't ruin it, you know, with, <laughs> but I feel like this person is really into you. Whoever this is, they're really into you. I mean, the King of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. They have feelings for you. They're attracted to you, feel of strong connection and have some sort of wish fulfillment when it comes to you. Like they feel like they've hit the jackpot here. Let's get some um, energies. Tell us more, Spirit, about this person's energy when it comes to Leo. What are their energies when it comes to Leo? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Moving forward, movement ending cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. I think this person wants to make a move. Like they want to progress with you, move forward into the next step. Wow, lasting promise and mirrored souls. What is happening? This reading is amazing. Soulmate energy, long-term commitments. I feel like this person, they would want something serious with you is what I'm getting. Like this, this is not someone that's playing around with lasting promise. They're like, that's who I want to be with. Leo. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person. What is their energy towards Leo? What is their energy towards Leo? What do we need to know about this person's thoughts? Endings, closures, new cycles. So something here I feel is shifting with glass coffin. Maybe you ended something in your life or they ended something in their life. And this could be something like they graduated or they left a job and now they have a better job. So they feel a little more secure. Um, it could be that this person is feeling like they're ready to commit to someone long term, right? Like their party days are over. Maybe this person finished a big project or a big goal that they had in their life. And it's like, okay, now I can focus on Leo. What else do we need to know about this person's energy towards Leo? Magic lamp, wishes, choices, desires. Yeah, I feel like this person is there. Um, okay, I'm getting priorities are shifting. True love's kiss at the bottom of the deck. Dating love soulmates. I mean, are you freaking kidding me right now with this reading? What is going on? 
I would love to be a Leo right now, that's for sure. What does this person want to tell Leo? What do they want to tell Leo Spirit? What message do they have for Leo? Eight of Pentacles. I'm willing to work hard. I'm willing to put in the effort. I am willing to invest my time. What else? What else do we need to know about this person? What do they want to tell Leo at this time, Spirit? Six of Wands. Like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, I feel like <laughs> this reading could not be more perfect. Six of Wands. Success. Victory. I'm willing to work hard for this connection to be a success. That's what that says. Can I get one more? What do they want to tell Leo? What does this person want to tell Leo? The Wheel of Fortune. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Leo, tell me, have you met someone special recently? Are you dating someone that you could really see a future with? Because this is getting everything. Like, this is not just working hard, putting in effort towards success, but there's also destiny behind you, right? Like wishes, you know, nine of cups. Everything happening in the right time, as if by magic, as if it's being guided by the fates, you know, like as if it's destined to be that way. I feel like if you're not talking to someone right now, you will be talking to someone or meeting someone where at the end of all of this is ultimate fulfillment, satisfaction, true love, you know, your heart's desire, you know. Tell me more about this person's thoughts, feelings towards Leo. What's in their heart space spirit? For Leo, what is in this person's heart space? What are their thoughts, feelings? What is the, their thoughts, feelings towards Leo? Destiny will help us find each other. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what that Wheel of Fortune is there for. Maybe you're finding each other again in this lifetime or after time apart or something i feel like this is destined what else spirit what else is this person thinking feeling when it comes to leo i wish i could go back in time you know what i'm getting here with this energy it's like i wish i wouldn't have wasted time not being with you i wish i would have met you sooner that's the energy i'm picking up there yeah, I wish I could tell you how I feel. I think this person wishes they had revealed their feelings for you much earlier than they did. You know? Maybe they wasted a lot of time by not making a move earlier or back then. One more spirit. One more energy, please, for Leo. What's in their heart space when it comes to Leo? I compare everyone I meet to you. Yeah, there's, I'm telling you, they have, they have strong feelings for you, this person. And apparently they feel like you are irreplaceable. They have not been able to meet someone like you before. I do get the sense that this is going to move pretty quickly. I think this was someone that you met in the past, maybe in school, maybe at church, sports, camp, something. But you were never really together. I'm not picking up that you were together together. 
I mean, that could be your story, but for most of you, that's not what I'm picking up here. It's like they could have been with you back in middle school, but they never were. And for some reason, now that they've wrapped up some sort of cycle in their life, they're thinking, I'm not going to miss my shot again. What's their ultimate or um, genuine intention towards Leo? What is their genuine intention towards Leo's spirit? What's their genuine intention? Wow, the magician. To work hard to make this happen. That's like the Eight of Pentacles. They're going to put in serious effort. I'm taking this one too because it kind of wanted to come out with that. The Three of Swords. And the Sun. Oh my gosh. Talk about like polar opposites. This I feel is exactly what I was just, just saying though. Like I am not going to miss out again. I'm going to do whatever it takes. To have my happiness with Leo. Because I feel like they didn't shoot their shot before. And they regret it. I feel like they already know. There's like let's not waste time. Let's not waste time. I already know how I feel. <laughs> For you. I mean. I feel like you start dating. And yeah right, be right behind that. Once upon a time. So it's like you start dating. Um, there's a new beginning in love. And it's like it moves pretty quickly. Like there's. It is just meant to be. Whoever this is. I'm getting like meant to be energy. With the wheel of fortune. The, I mean I cannot ignore the rest of the cards on this spread. Yeah right after the sun is the knight of cups. Like I cannot make this up. And do you want to see what's behind the knight of cups? Are you like curious? The ten of cups. Like I cannot. This cannot be a more perfect reading. To be honest, like I'm going to leave it there, Leo, because I feel like it's pretty clear that this is the ultimate love story. <laughs> That's kind of what it feels like. Um, so many energy that someone is like wants to do something about it. This is definitely someone that they didn't share how they felt in the past. That's not going to be the case now. They're going to jump on love. They're going to take the initiative with you. Because they don't want to lose you again. And I don't get, again, I'm I'm not picking up that energy that you had a really long, drawn out love history. I just don't get that. It's almost like someone could have asked you out, didn't, and has regretted it ever since. That's the energy I'm picking up here. Let me know in the comments if that's resonating for you. Because I would love to know like who this could be. Um, if you have not met this person yet... If they have not come forward yet, maybe they're going to be coming forward in the near future. Because trust me, this is the type of person that like when they show up, you know. They're, they're announcing their arrival, this person. They will not let you question or have doubts. Like you will know exactly how this person feels and what they want. So I love that for you, Leo. Really wish I was a Leo right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. Don't forget to check out the giveaway details if you'd like to win one of my decks. And hopefully I'll see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.